Hello, my dear students. Uh, let us uh, continue with the next pressure distribution diagram. That is uh, the vertical stress distribution on a horizontal plane. Last class, I explained how to draw pressure uh, distribution diagram for uh, this uh, isobars. Uh, today, uh, we'll discuss about vertical stress distribution on a horizontal plane. The vertical stress distribution on any horizontal plane at a given depth z below the ground surface due to concentrated load can be determined using uh, Boussinet's equation that is sigma z equal to 3 cube divided by 2 pi into z cube divided by r square plus z square to the power 5 by 2 or you can use this formula also that is t q divided by 2 pi z square into 1 divided by 1 plus r divided by z whole square to the power 5 by 2. So this equation you have to remember always. Okay, so uh, or this equation that is sigma z is equal to kb into uh, that is uh, the influence factor, um, Boltzmann's uh, equations influence factor. Uh, into q divided by z square okay where kb is equal to there is again one small derivation is there or you can use kb is equal to the value uh, based on r divided by z ratio or uh, using the table now uh, depth z is a known depth okay you can assume any depth selecting different values of horizontal distance that is r kb can be found from the table and hence sigma z can be computed okay let's suppose if you assume z uh, and uh, you can um, uh, for the different values of the horizontal distance r kb can be calculated uh, or uh, can be found um, from the table and the sigma z can be calculated. Below the table, the vertical pressure will be equal to uh, 0.4775 q divided by z square and it decreases very rapidly with the increase in the values of r so um, this is the table which shows the variation of uh, vertical stress with the horizontal distance r okay at constant depth suppose now r by z ratio that is equal to 0 kb is equal to 0.4775 this i have already shown in the last class how we get r by z uh, i mean uh, for the r by z ratio equal to 0 how you can find kb value using the table so this is so uh, for this value sigma z will be maximum Okay, next value, suppose if R by Z ratio is equal to 0.5, then based on the uh, table, using the table for 0.5, you have to find what is KB value. Let us see that 0.5, uh, the table, uh, yeah, here, uh, 0.5, 0.273. 3. KB value is 0 0.2733. 0 0.2733. So, this is about uh, uh, not maximum at about 57 percentage of the maximum. Similarly, for 1, you have to again refer the table and find what is kb you will get 0 0.0844 that is nearly about the 17.7 percent of the maximum so similarly for 2 it is 0 0.0085 that is uh, equal to 1.8 percent of the maximum now from the above table it can be concluded that at a given depth when horizontal radian distance is equal to twice the depth the vertical pressure due to single concentrated load can be uh, considered negligible. Means when the horizontal radial distance that is equal to twice the depth, the horizontal radial distance that is equal to twice the depth, there is a very small uh, value, uh, means 1.8 percentage of the maximum stress. So it can be negli negligible.
figure uh, shows a vertical stress distribution diagram this is a diagram vertical stress distribution diagram due to a concentrated load at a depth Z. Okay, this is a concentrated load, which is uh, this is the ground level, and this is at a distance of Z. Okay, uh, if such a diagram is plotted for unit load, that is Q equal to one, it is called the influence diagram for point A below the axis. Influence diagram, all of you know, in structural analysis also you study, means when the uh, uh, diagram is plotted for single unit load equal to, Q is equal to 1, then the diagram is called as influence diagram for that particular point A below the axis. Now, such a diagram is helpful in computing the vertical stress sigma z at A due to the number of concentrated loads q1, q2, qn, etc. I think all of you know now how to draw influence line diagram. So, suppose uh, you have to find the ordinate values uh, based on uh, the particular distance. So, you will get this value. So, then um, the total load is equal to q1 into this o1 plus q2 into o2 like that. So, I, I think all of you know that. So, now same thing here also mentioned. Such a diagram is helpful in computing the vertical stress sigma z at A due to a number of concentrated loads Q1, Q2, Qn situated at radial distance R1, R2, Rn from the vertical axis through the point A. Now, the vertical stress that is given by uh, sigma z, vertical stress is sigma z that is equal to uh, summation of Q into O means uh, what I said uh, the same thing the load into ordinate value suppose this is the first load Q1 into O1 plus Q2 into O2 plus Qn into On like that okay so sigma z is equal to summation of q into o where o1 o2 o3 uh, etc up to o n are the ordinates of the influence diagram plotted for sigma z at a the influence diagram can be used to find sigma z at any point on a horizontal plane by orienting the diagram on the plane in such a way that vertical axis through that point coincide with the maximum ordinate O of the influence diagram. When once this is done, the ordinates O1, O2 and U2, any given system of the loads can be found and sigma z can be computed. Now, let us take one example. Uh, this is the example. The Wolzinus equation uh, for vertical stress due to a point load acting at the surface. Okay. Uh, for example, let Q is equal to 100 kN and Z is equal to 2 meter. Okay. Now, we have this formula. Either this or this we can use. I think we can use... Um, this formula uh, that is easy uh, okay so what is that 3 into q is equal to 100 divided by 2 into pi into z q divided by r square plus z square to the power 5 by 2 now we know the value of z that is 2 so substitute here 2 q into 300 divided by 2 pi that you get 381.97 divided by r square plus z square z is equal to 2 so 2 square that is equal to 4 to the power 5 by 2 so simplify this um, uh, or you can leave like that only because we are drawing the uh, pressure distribution diagram. So, for the, the different values, we want that sigma z uh, uh, values. Okay. So, now using this above equation, sigma z is calculated for different values of r and plotted as shown in the figure. Now, what you have to do? You have to take the R value. Z value we know that is 2 meter. So, different R values we have to see now. Okay. So, suppose R is equal to now 0. What is 
sigma z. So substitute in this equation only one unknown that is r square is equal to 0. So 381.97 divided by 4 to the power 5 by 2 that is equal to 11.94. Similarly for r is equal to 1, 6.83 you will get when you substitute in this equation. Then r is equal to 2. When you substitute in this equation, you get 2.11. Then 3, r is equal to 3. Substitute, you get 0.63. Once, if we have the values of uh, r and z, uh, we can, uh, and even z, sigma z value we have, we can draw the vertical stress distribution on horizontal plane. How to draw that? So, this is the ground level and the Q is acting here, okay. Q is acting here and this is the value of Z and this is R value, okay. Uh, so, um, R value we have maximum 3 value. So, both the sides you can write 0 here the, uh, exactly at the center, 0, 1, 2, Three. This side also 1, 2, 3. Now values of z we can consider we have <coughs> 2, 4, 8, 12 like that. Okay. So now um, no, this is sigma z value not z value. Sigma z value. So we have to draw that. How for 0 this is 11.94 that is almost equal to 12 this point. Next point for 1 that is 6.83 here somewhere here 6.83 this side also 6.83 then for 2 it is 2.11 somewhere here 2.11 here also 2.11 for 3 it is 0.63 3 is equal to 0.63 then draw or uh, join all the points and draw the diagram okay. So, like this, you can draw or, the, or you can show the vertical stress distribution on horizontal plane. Okay. Main thing, you have to use the equation. You have to find R value um, uh, by, uh, I mean, uh, Z value will be uh, given. Uh, here, R value you have to assume. Okay. Uh, this is the case of vertical stress distribution on horizontal plane. So, R value, horizontal distance is the R. That you have to consider for the different points you have to find what is sigma z. Once if you know that you can draw the vertical stress distribution on horizontal plane. I hope all of you understood. Thank you.